Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer, and I'm a teen with a passion for makeup and kitten rescue. Today's video is going to be a kitten video, which I know a lot of you are going to be really excited about. And today's video is just a fun little video where I talk about kitten supplies. And in this video, I'm specifically going to be talking about human products that you can use for kittens. Now, there are a lot of products made for humans that you don't want to use for cats. So many foods, so many physical things, toys, supplies that you don't want to use on kittens. But here's a list of things that are technically made for humans but you can use on your foster kittens and it helps them out a lot in some instances. So I have 11 things on my list so let's go ahead and just get started. And also I'm just gonna be popping pictures up on the screen because I have all the supplies in my house but it's like everywhere and I just don't have time today to go and gather it. So yeah I'm just gonna be popping pictures on the screen. So number one is Pedialyte. You're going to need unflavored. Unflavored is the only one you can use for kittens but if you don't know Pedialyte is an electrolyte replacer and it just helps human babies and other people that just need more electrolytes. Pedialyte can actually be used for kittens to, it's me, he's just chirping, but Pedialyte can actually be used on kittens, the unflavored kind, to help hydrate them more. The number one way to hydrate kittens is through fluids, but fluids are something that most fosters don't know how to do. I only recently learned how to do fluids and I know since so many people don't know how to do them, even in addition to fluids, if a kitten is dehydrated, you can use Pedialyte to help kind of hydrate them. And the way you use Pedialyte is you just mix it with their formula instead of water. And you just do that until you think they're hydrated enough. And I know there is electrolyte replacers made by Breeders Edge, like an electrolyte replacing powder that is made for kittens, and I do recommend that. I have heard it's good, but Pedialyte is a lot more accessible to a lot of people, so I recommend it, and I think it's good. Number two is Caro Syrup, or any light corn syrup. Caro Syrup is basically, like, it's a corn syrup, it's a, just a brand of corn syrup. Light corn syrup can be used for kittens when they're fading to get their sugar levels up a bit. When kittens are fading, their glucose levels are often really low. So for FKP, Fade and Kitten Protocol, one of the main things that you're gonna need is caro syrup or corn syrup. I have caro syrup, but any light corn syrup is good. I know I've been saying that a million times. I just wanna reiterate it, I guess. And I can do another video all on FKP. The times I've done it, kittens have been dying so I haven't really been motivated to film videos at that particular moment but I can film a video on it eventually. Hi Minnie. Oh and Mickey came up too. But caro syrup is one of the main things you're gonna use to help like awaken and the kittens that are kind of fading. So number three is blankets. Both swaddling blankets and like normal blankets. You're gonna need normal blankets to like put at the bottom of their enclosure and then you're gonna need swaddling blankets to both help feed and just like wrap up kittens that are fading. So I definitely recommend both of those and both of those I generally buy made for humans, you know. They're just cheaper than the special ones made for pets. And obviously they're blankets, they're perfectly fine for kittens. Number five is baby food. Now, there are specifics that you need to take into consideration before you just feed your kitten baby food. One, it is not a meal, it is a supplement. You can get it to kind of help wean, but then they do need to be eating meat as well. And this needs to be kind of a treat for them. And it can also be put on top of their food to help them gain weight. Now, you cannot just get any human baby food. You need chicken or turkey, chicken or turkey flavored. It stinks, it smells gross, but the kittens like it. It's a good treat. I generally use it to help with weaning if I have some hard to wean kittens or I use it to put on top of their food like I said you can do to help them gain a little bit of weight. So number six is something not a lot of people think about and it is a bottle warmer. Now these are relatively cheap and they basically are used to warm human babies formula. You put some water in the bottom, you heat it up, you turn it on and then it warms the bottle. I don't use it to warm the bottle because I find it's hard to get it to the right temperature, but I do use it to sanitize empty bottles. When you have multiple litters or when you just are transitioning from one litter to the next, it is very important that you're sanitizing all of your equipment. And if you don't have a bottle warmer, you can just use a pot and boil some water and put the, the bottles in the boiling water. But a much easier way to do this is by just having a bottle warmer. It's super quick, you put the bottles in, you turn it on, and then boom, you have sanitized bottles. And since they're pretty cheap, they're something I recommend quite a lot. Although I haven't recommended them yet, but I do recommend them. <laughs> Number seven is unscented baby wipes. I use Huggies, they're great. 
baby wipes, so necessary. You use it to wipe faces, you use it to wipe bums, you use it to do pretty much everything. It's great. Now the next two are something that might be a dumb moment. You probably already have them in your house, but you're gonna need lots of them with kittens. Number eight is lots of paper towels because you're gonna go through a lot of paper towels, cleaning up messes and just in general. And number nine, you might go even through more of these with bottle babies and that's tissues. I use four tissues per kitten per feeding. I feed them every two to five hours, depending on their age. You're gonna go through a lot of tissues, so make sure you're stocked up. Number 10 is a stuffed animal. They make special ones to comfort pets called uh, snuggle kitties or comaroos, I think is what they're called. And I have both of those. They're great. The heartbeat inside of them is great. It comforts them, but if you don't have one of those, I highly recommend just using a stuffed animal. And they can snuggle up to those too, even though it's not their mom or doesn't have a heartbeat. And number 11 is a toothbrush for bottle babies or kittens without a mom. A toothbrush can be very helpful to just calm them down and make them feel like their mom is cleaning them. And of course you're gonna buy a human toothbrush. I use a one disposable toothbrush per litter and then I buy a new one. So I hope this video was kind of helpful on some human supplies that you can use for your kittens. Let me know any other video ideas you have and I will try and add them to my calendar. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe for my makeup and kitten related content. Oh hi Smee. Hi Smee. I upload on Sundays and also on Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, then I upload whenever I want to. It's me, you're being loud. Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye!